Whoa! Whoa! Yay, I'm alive, yay! Ah! First of all, thank you for the follow, Immortal Frog. I appreciate it. Um, this game is basically Castlevania meets The Bachelor. <laughs> Never too late to give me a follow. I appreciate them. I look really sleepy. What the heck? <laughs> My avatar is a bit weird. Hang on, give me a sec. Let me recalibrate. Alright, that's better. Slightly better, okay. A, a, a bit, a bit. It makes fun of dating shows, reality TV, um, Dracula's trying to find, uh, <laughs> romance on a dating show. There's got some interesting people in it, that's all I'm gonna say. One of them being Cthulhu. <laughs> I think I might have already released her from the show because she was a bit, um... Uh, too, too crazy for my tastes. Because I had to eliminate people. Because I'm in the, um, final act of the show. Or, the game. And this is, uh, finale, so I'll be able to finish this tonight. <laughs> um. Yeah, some of the jokes are a little bit, uh, it's definitely an 18 plus game. Like, the, uh, the references, the jokes, there's so many puns. Um, one of the characters is into BDSM and makes no, no, uh, absolutely is not apologetic for it. Oh, okay, okay. Wait on ads. Wait on ads. are going to wait on the end. Alright. How's anybody else chatting today? <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Thirty more seconds. Hopefully, ads will be over. <laughs> ads suck. If I could give all of my followers uh, uh, a sub, I would, but I have no money. <laughs> okay. Congrats. Welcome back. Uh, I waited. I was just talking about nothing for a second there. It's um, yeah. One of the uh, one of the characters in it is totally into BDSM, and she makes no apologies for it. So this is a very interesting show. Or, well, not show, really. It's not a show. But it's well within Twitch's terms of service. Thankfully. But barely. Since it is a reality TV show, one of the characters walks around naked. Hey, that works. Any way to avoid ads? Yeah, it honestly is. I might have to do that soon myself. I'm probably gonna have to do that soon myself, uh, due to reasons, but, uh... I hope you will enjoy this game today. It's, it's, it's really fun, and then, um, next week, assuming everything goes well, uh, I'll be starting a, a new game on Saturdays. <laughs> yep. 
Yes. But I get to I get to a final chat, do all the like final mission stuff. Like, um Yeah, basically she talks about uh all the proper stuff like consent and stuff. Oh yeah, no. I know there's a difference between uh it's a it's a fine line between uh proper BDSM and abuse, and that word is consent. <laughs> that is literally that is literally the fine line is consent. Safe, sane, and consensual. I know the three main tenants of BDSM. So... I'm not, not like, entirely 100% familiar, but I know the main core tenants, which is why... <laughs> there is a certain book, which I will, uh... Never touch within a hundred years. Or within a, a hundred miles. We all know which book that is. But anyway. I hope everyone's doing to get uh, good today, and I hope you enjoy this game. If not, I apologize. <laughs> Because I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'll throw shade at the bad books. The books that look like somebody just glossed over the Wikipedia for BDSM and wrote a book. Which was originally a Twilight fanfic. Yes, I'm actually narrowing down exactly what book it is. <laughs> oh, yep. I will throw shade at books if they are bad. Bad books go away. Good books, stay. But anyway, let's see, um... Okay, someone told me to let them know what I was streaming, so I just did that, yay! All right! <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm not a fan of the fake ones. Like, the ones that are bad and give bad advice and have bad takes. Because then you get people going, Oh, I totally want to do that, and they have no idea what they're doing. And it's like, do research properly. If that looks- if that- if kink is your thing, do research properly. It's not- Exactly, yes. Um, it's- it's important. If you have to, there are, like, there are websites with doms and subs and switches who, um, are- work on those websites who will happily give you an hour of their time just to talk about the basics and why the life works for them. And maybe you decide at that point it's not exactly what you thought it was and you're not interested. Or maybe you think it's great, this is exactly what I want. Yeah, unless the person consents to- unless- unless that person- that's what they want to do, which is a very, very, very niche kink. Um, but that's like something that has to be, uh, bargained for and talked about well in advance. Yeah, exactly. Most are willing to educate you just so they- you don't end up as one of those people that the entire community knows not to trust. Um... And nobody will talk to you again because it's a very- it's a small community, so they do actually talk to each other. Your name will get around if, uh, you're treating people like shit. And not doing everything properly. Yeah. 100%. Always, always, always. But yeah, like I said, I'm not, like, I'm not really 
familiar with all the ins and outs, but I know the the major. I know the the ones, and I'm not. I'm not gonna, you know. Tell anybody their kink is bad unless it's 100% illegal or violates the. Uh, oh, what is it? It violates the um, rights of somebody else. Because your your freedoms end where somebody else's begin. And uh yeah, that's about it. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, I've um I've read a few things that talked about like thoroughly. They they may have been fanfiction, but these were like well researched fanfics that are um, of series I don't actually I'm not into anymore because the series itself was problematic. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, thank you, Throne. <laughs> Thanks, Throne, for pandering. You're you've been lovely. But anyway, we should get into this game. <laughs> um, but just so you know, like, half my sound alerts have, uh, or not sound alerts, but half my, uh, channel point redemptions have, a uh, sound. Yes. Throne is nice for just throwing that out. It's not required. You can if you want to, but it's not required. I don't require people to throw money at me. Um, just like all of my sound alert redemptions down below are free because uh, throwing pennies hurts. So I'm not going to, you know, put monetary, especially since it didn't cost me anything. It might be like, it might be different if I were, um, you know, if I had like, you know, a few hundred subscribers, but I don't have that sort of thing. I'm not, I'm not anywhere near partner. Then I might put, like, uh, a bit redemption on it, but that's later. For now, everything's free, and it might stay that way. It probably will, because that's my personality. So we're gonna, we're gonna start this game. We. Turn that off. There we go. All right. Resume. Yeah, the 75 viewers is the difficult part. 25 hours is nothing. And 12 days is almost nothing. But, I mean, 25 hours would be, you know, say, streaming five days, uh, five days a, a, in a month at five hours a stream. Or some people only stream for a couple hours at a time, so it might be difficult if they have a job to get that point. So I could see, you know, doing some... Uh, you would have to do at least, um... Like... A little over two, hour, two hours per stream. Exactly. Yeah, that's for people who, uh, who have a job and uh, can only, uh, uh, devote, like, two hours a day to their, uh, to their streams. But it's getting the 75 viewers per stream, that's the ridiculous part. Like, just average. It was hard enough for me to get three. <laughs> okay, so I need... what am I doing? Okay. Actually, quest. Okay. Yeah. It's- <laughs> I, I think I get like four average per- or something like that. <laughs> yeah, getting the three, that was like the difficult part. That wasn't the most difficult part. Um, I was at three before I finally got my 50 followers. 
but yeah either way the the three uh three people three viewers per stream is a difficult number okay so across the sea i need to find I don't know about the obelisk. So let's go. I wonder if I can chat with people. Oh god. I didn't realize I was here. Go away. I just got beat up by a fish. Oh no, you're dying. Thank you, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna go... No, you get to go away. Can I? Oh, I can totally invite Dead Pirate Robert. <laughs> Instead of the Dread Pirate Roberts, he's the Dead Pirate Rob. Well, I wasn't positive yeah. what you eat, but I figure everyone loves fresh seafood. This isn't what I meant by brain food. But the Omegas... Brains, Drac. I am undead. I eat brains. I'm sure there's a tiny brain in this fish somewhere. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I know, damn. I'll have something on my own. How about you? Well, I can't eat food at all. I see. We're not exactly off to a good start. We are not. What if we use this fish as bait? To lure what we Oop. really want? <laughs> well, he's not dead. He hasn't found one for him yet. <laughs> I'll drain him, you brain him? Let's fish our wish. Considering his abs are from someone else, his arms are from someone else. Yeah, he just gotta find somebody. Also easy, it must have hit him. I can't buy these or hold out. Oh, jeez, I didn't. I started reading chat. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, just gotta find the right person. Yeah, this game allows you to, um, after you go through the base tutorials. Oh, after you go through the base tutorial stuff, it allows you to, um, choose whether you want to play. As a uh, 
with a male or female avatar, so I already played through as a male avatar. This is my playthrough as a female avatar. I'm gonna romance a different person this time. Okay, so we need to set sail. Alright, so we wanna go harbor among the thunder, little Italy, Egypt. Let's go with the whatever that is. Yeah, I wanna get past this bottle for her. Okay. Hear me out. No, I don't want to talk about her, but that's because I think I think I'm over it. I'm over it. Grim, you crazy son of a bitch, I'm over it. Yay. No, unfortunately, he doesn't work harders. He just has a- he has an entire open, uh, an open shirt, so you see his abs. Oh, sure, I'll hold it. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize I have to do that. Okay. What I get? What do I get? Damage increase! Thanks! Most excellent. Down we go. I, oh, I'll take it. Hot air balloon! Thanks! That's more gifts. No, you go away. Whoops. No, we went that way. Sometimes my thumb hits the button, and it's literally right next to the, um, attack button. If you can see, like, the cast, this is the cast of, um, the people I've invited. Some of them I've, I've sent home already. But, like, he has no clothes on whatsoever. And because it's a TV show, it's pixelated. I already sent her home. She's nothing but a head. Now, this is PSL. I sent Alessa home. You can see anybody with a black rose I sent home already. Because um, she just wanted to have sex with and murder the entire cast. I sent Sol home. He's also a vampire. I'm keeping. There's only one of them, though. You get to choose which one you want uh, to stay. Um, but apparently, I think they all wear the same wardrobe, so they borrow each other's clothes. I sent Lulu home, because she's, she's Cthulhu, and uh, not exactly... I've, Oh, I sent- I remember, I sent Fenton home. I did not send him home last time. Um, so far I've kept Nefrit. Uh, Robert's still here. I sent Lyra home. Um... Cthulhu, uh, trapped me in a weird 1960s fantasy and made me mow the lawn, which I still think is a double entendre. Uh... And then there were cockroach people I had to kill. It was weird. <laughs> Besides, she was unhappy. <laughs> she didn't like having, uh, having her powers limited. Oh. Ooh, forgot about those. Looking. 
Yeah, the game forces you to send way too many people home. Really? Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this. I hate the ones that teleport away before you can get to them. You get rid of way too many. Bubbling up here. Ooh, I can advise cast member to a hot tub. Sweet. We'll do. A charcuterie board. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy your lurk. I'm an invited cast member. Oh, I can invite. Three dates. Let's invite you. So, where do we stand? I occasionally find you tolerable. That is vastly beyond my wildest imaginings. Tell me more about these wild imaginings. I no longer dream of tearing out your cold heart and wearing it on my lapel. Oh, wow. Aww. You'd wear my heart on your sleeve. Ooh. I tire of you. Get thee to your coffin. Wanna come? Well, you brought about your new nightmares with that image. Always glad to help. I believe this nightcap should suffice. I bid you farewell for now. You want me to farewell? I suppose I do, drat. <laughs> I got a nice bonus. Oh, I can. Who else do I invite? Uh, let's invite Vess. So, where do we stand? Drac, you know how things are. It's weird and nebulous, and I'd want nothing more than to give some sweet answer, but you know I can't. It's not me, and it's not my situation. 100 years is a long time. The real question is, is that okay with you? I can be patient when the result is worth waiting for, Vess. Good, then let's have another round. to PSL. Why not? So, where do we stand? Oh, Drag, you're the sweet fluffy topping to my hot cup of joe. This is the first time I've ever been called fluffy. Or even sweet. 
Oh, but you are. I know that deep down you're just that cream puff for me. Let's be friendly because I'm not really. I admit, if you'd ask me for anything, I couldn't resist helping you. It's funny. I don't imagine myself ever settling down in a traditional way, growing a little patch. But that doesn't mean I don't see a future with you. I'm not exactly a traditionalist. Good, because nothing about me is conventional. Nothing at all. dates there. Anything here? No, okay. Back and forth, and back and forth. Oh no, I need that. I need up there. I need up there. How do I get up there? Sasher, thanks. I'm trying to find the item. something further up. over here. already here. Hmm. Not here. 
here. Focus over this way. Okay, so this is a start. Did I get it is the question. I've not found the bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Found it! Oh my god, that took forever. That. And silk pajamas. Go to Little Italy. I know there's something there. This is it. And let's go to Little Italy. Yes. Oh, there are too many to count. Let's see. Lady of the Brine's got a great tune. Shanty Town Shanty only slaps after a few drinks. But I'd say my old-time favorite is she's curvy. But she's also got scurvy. Good times, <laughs> man. Good times. <laughs> He's talking about his favorite sea shanties. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm uh in the mood for sweets. All right. This is across the sea. I'll have to look. All right. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> I inspected it. Oh. Who's in my audience? The house of Oprah Winfrey. I gave you my soul and you and a car. And now yeah. I'm dead. You get a car! Not reasonable! 
Everyone gets a car! The Phantom of the Opera. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> Yay, I found inspiration! Sweet! XP for HG kills. Oh, hand grenade. Okay. Fantastic. Why not? Huh. 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 I got the sloppy jalopy key. Sweet. Huh. Oh, for of course was holding on to it. Enjoy the familiar feeling. Oh god. The big kahuna. Alright, um... Oh boy! Let's see, who should I... I have, 20, I, I have plenty of money to, to invite someone out on a date, so this is not that big a deal. So let's date some people. Yes. All this garlic is making my eyes bleed. 
And it's making, um, them happy. Is this your attempt to turn me on? Uh, no? I thought you were trying to be vulnerable. Well, it's not working. Wasn't my intention. I <laughs> say much. Must say, watching you bleed all over the tablecloth is causing a conflicted reaction within me. I'm not sure I want to know more. I'm not sure I want you to know more. Red stick. Please. Yay! One date left. Uh, this will be okay. Yep. All this garlic is making my eyes bleed. Wow. And to think you're suffering through this because you thought I'd want to come. I don't know if that's sweet or idiotic. I know you can't eat. So we're here, why? Because I know that the closest thing to love you can feel is the smell of pizza. Rack, you didn't. Ow. Oh. Take a good long whiff, my dear, and feel the love. It's so tangy. If that's what floats your boat, consider me your captain. That's so awkward. <laughs> but thank you. This is amazing. Hey, Lucius. How are you doing today? Welcome to Romancevania. It's very weird, um... Castlevania clone, um... Reality dating show. Don't worry if you haven't heard about it. Not many people have. Okay, I hope you get- I hope you get good rest. Because, yeah, it could be really tiring if the day, if the day was um, a lot. Whoa, almost a girl. Yeah! Remember to take care of yourself. Your health is more important. That's the most important thing. Yeah! Yeah, no, I understand. Ow. Keep ice on it. And uh, if it gets worse, please see a doctor. You have my sympathy. That is an awful pain. Care and maintenance for a plant-based body ain't that hard, bub. Sunlight, water, and of course, love. Do you have any idea how much your vegetables would grow if you just said nice things to them and treated them with adoration? There's a reason that zucchini out back's as big as it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, PSL. Yo! 
yeah, it's... It is the best thing, but then, of course, there's the agony of trying to straighten the leg. As okay as I can, I guess. <laughs> Minorly okay. Hoping, uh, <laughs> just, you know, kind of wondering where I'm going to live in the future. <laughs> so if my schedule becomes a little, uh, uh, or, you know, if, if people don't see me for a while, my schedule becomes a little, uh, uh, wonky, then uh, just know it's not because I don't want to stream. But, hey, I'm trying to make the, the do with it as best I can. Yeah, exactly. Not much more I can do than that. Yeah. You take that. I'm planning on romancing that Britain. Sorry, 
already been there. <laughs> Just money. Yeah, we're going here. Oops, sorry. You heard a thud, I just accidentally hit my table. <laughs> we're gonna save. Woo! All right, let's... Oh, I was supposed to go uh, start PSL's Jalopsy. And no, that's not a double entendre. <laughs> Her actual car. that tight back pocket of yours until our special final date Grimm's all worked up about. Then you can hop inside. All right. I don't know why it's just refreshed. There's nothing in there, but oh well. Uh. Uh. Wait, okay, so we're gonna give away the last of the gifts that I have um, to up increase my chances. give away all of this stuff. Okay, so now we can save. Uh, 
okay, so apparently she still doesn't want to talk. That's fine. I have to go find both of her and, uh... That's anyway. I have something to show you. But first, how are you enjoying your me time? Best I've felt in years. Seriously, thanks. For what? For giving me space. I needed to slow down, find myself, and just exist for a while. I know this is a dating show, so I appreciate that you, you know, didn't rush me. Now, what is it you wanted to show me? Oh. It is nothing. Come on, you came here to see me. What's behind your back? I am sorry. It shattered. It... It's gone. The curse. Something's clearly up with this shattered glass, but... My gosh, Drac, you did it! I feel... Slightly better. Not right, but... It's something. I can't believe you did this! I wanted to show you I cared. I'm not sure this is fixed completely, but I don't care. Time together, not the outcome, is what I seek. No, who go. may have some advice? PSL. She's a witch. Maybe she knows why it's pulsing like this. I'll go ask. Hey, level up relationship. My non-existent ears were burning. Need something? Yowza! What'd you do to the guy who put this hex on your house? I loved him. Complicated much? Yeah. More than you know. The curse is gone, but its effects have about a mm, hundred years left, give or take. Then you're all set. A century? So the curse is gone, but its effects remain for another hundred years. That's about right. She won't be able to get her home back. This thing's shattered to bits, but the curse is technically gone, just a ghost of it remains. Nice job, Drac. Okay, Drac. There's your answer. You just go on and find your love. I'm MIA for another century. Let's not count you out yet, Vess. I've waited 100 years for something before. I can do it again. Thanks. She really puts her all into jumping on pool, uh, pool floaties. Alright, I think he's gotta be in here. Huh. Yep. Brocifer, I think I have found the notes you need. On holy track, this is going to be revolutionary. See, some old things can be good. 
We just can't cling to them. We need to move forward to innovate. You're right. And this song's gonna change my life. I know it. Can't wait to hear. There we are. Relationship up. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I'm at 11. 11. Okay, there's no way I can get any higher. 9. On relationship 10. Oh, I didn't take them to skin to win. I did not realize I could. But I've almost taken them to every day. Relationship is not up that high, so she'll turn me down. <sighs> Tell me about yourself. The Nefret you see now is not the Nefret I was yesterday. There is no point in this conversation. You are an accumulation of your experiences and how you've processed them. Of course I care to know more of your past. Each meal was selected for me. I was surrounded by people who always wanted something out of me. And I never had a moment to myself. I was a puppet on a string and now I am free. Good. I know now you seek new experiences and sensations, but what would Pharaoh Nefret have done on a day off? I have never thought about that. I would have... I would have gone to town. I would have stopped in all the stalls in the market. I would have eaten from the carts and picked out the linens that my people made. I would have talked to them about their lives, about their children. I would have rode around my kingdom to ask questions. All of the things I was forbidden to do. I had to make decisions about these people and their lives, but I knew them not. It was all guesstimates, all projection. I would have lived, Drac. I would have been such a better leader if I was allowed to act freely and think freely. For them and for me. Would you like to lead again, but with the knowledge you have now? I'd like to help. I was not allowed to do that before. If you helped, would that make you want to stay a while? For now. No, not for now. If you want to build something, to truly help, that takes time. But as you know, time means nothing when you're doing something you love. With someone you love. I think I can learn to slow down with you, Drac. But, if you truly want my heart, there is something you must understand. Tell me, there is more to it. My reluctance for love. My heart, it is not here. An ex, I knew it. No, Drac, do not project your baggage upon me. When a not pharaoh like dies, <laughs> our organs are placed elsewhere. Canopic jars. While hearts usually remain with the body, mine was, well, harvested. What luck, right? Anyway, if you truly, really do love me and want me, you must find my heart. It is in my tomb. Is that all? I'd cross all the oceans just for a chance at your heart. Um, maybe? The journey is difficult and dangerous, but I am glad you believe I am worth it. Anything for you. All right, so I have not... That's what I needed to do. All right, so I need to go back. Just because I like doing all the quests. What do you need? Okay, so I have seven of these.
Off we go. <laughs> One last thing to do before I go on this final date. <laughs> Let's near Goyle's Den, so let's go. Oh, there are too many to count. Let's see. Oh, I already see. I already heard that one. I keep forgetting it's inside. <gasps> <gasps> Up for two seconds, quickly press down in primary slot. Takes care of that. We can give that to her. Uh, happily have that fixed.
teleport soon. Come on. Waiting for you to come back. Gotcha. We'll go in here, because <laughs> that's the easy- it's the closest teleport, so... I'm just gonna remember I gotta stay in the- I think the upper? sounds so weird, but the smell of pizza is the closest thing I can feel to love. Yeah, the human food. I know. But seriously, I lived in Boston for years. Do you have any idea how good beach pizza is? Oh man, you go down to the water, order a couple of pies, and just sniff. No, I can't eat it. But that smell... The wafting of cheese and sauce mingled with the salty spray from the ocean? I can't imagine love being any better than that. <laughs> All right, let's go find Nefret. Give out gifts. Go on dates. And then get the rug pull. Like, oh, haha, ha, you thought you were romancing someone. My lady. Drak, you have done it! Level seven. I hold your heart in my hands, but I want you to have it. It is only yours to give freely. Truly, this is a gift fit for a queen. I have been so incomplete. Thank you. Yay! Alright, so I have done. going to sound deranged, but a little bored. I'm not exactly a social butterfly, and I'm not used to luxury, so I kind of don't know what to do with myself sometimes. They say boredom can lead to amazing boosts in creativity and joy. Why do you think I've been making so many custom drinks? <laughs> Maybe you need to buy me some crayons or something. I need to vent through something other than booze. <laughs> wow. Your wish, my command. Ew, don't. One of the four bringers in the apocalypse once told me he was hung like a horseman. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, yes. His name was Walter, and he only drank rosé. 
This just keeps getting worse. You have no idea. I have a feeling you've got lots more stories in you. I sure do. Let me hop behind the bar and make you something special, and we can chat all night. Wow. <laughs> she's tired of four to making drinks. So yeah, she's gonna make a drink. I might... I might just want to be best friends forever with Nefret. She's so cool, but I'm intimidated by her. You? Intimidated? I know, I know. I'm mortified. Just go hang with her. Is that a joke about her bandages? If it was, you would laugh. Yes, and okay, I'll try to hang with her. See you around. Oh, yeah, cool. See you on the flip. Let's talk to Robert. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, being a pirate and hearing bad jokes. Where do I begin? Something about Long John Silvers or about a sunken chest? Or how about burying me treasure? Or why do they call him Jolly Roger? That is more bad puns than I could imagine. And I've spent time with PSL. <laughs> It hurts to say this, but I have a hard time looking at Lyra. I know what happened was not her fault, but to feel like I'm punched in the gut every time I look upon her. Especially when she is with you. I am sorry you feel that way. I do suggest you get to know her. That sounds good in theory, but not so much in practice. I need more time. I understand. I believe I gave my assessment. That was physical. What about them as people? I admit, I haven't taken the time to get to know them. I am a fierce competitor. Believe it or not. And they are not my allies here. As friendly as some may be. I want to win your heart, not theirs. Oh, possessive much. Fair enough. It has been an enlightening conversation. Let's talk to... It turns out, slowing isn't stalling. I am content. That is a relief to hear. Do you have any insights you've learned? I always look forward to hearing what you have to say. Living by impulse and intuition is wonderful. But slowing down to tune in and hear it more can actually help you be more spontaneous. Words to live by, as always. Words are incantations. We speak our reality into being. So rather than say I am settled, I would say I am content. I feel satisfied. Does this answer your question? I think so. Yes, and I'm thrilled to hear it. I'm finding harmony with them in whatever way feels compatible. Hmm. Vess and Medusa and I chat about old mutual acquaintances. Sol is a curious person, and we find ourselves in long philosophical chats. Brosifer is showing me how to DJ. Not at all. As I said before, I am content. Is content enough? While I wait for you to decide, it is. I'm sorry I'm holding you up. It is why you are here. I do not fault you. Alright, um... Yeah, let's go to pick up line. You can imagine I receive all sorts of comments about swinging for certain, along with bits about my flexibility. I suppose those are inevitable. Have any of those lines worked? Never a line, only an energy. They may feel that lines have worked when in reality it was the vibration, the chemistry that spoke to me. It is good to know that while I may slip up verbally, it seems I can't fail as long as we're in alignment. Now you are learning. It was great talking. You will get no secrets from me. 
Talking to you is always enlightening. I look forward to more conversations like this, Nefret. The feeling is so... so mutual, Drac. Uh, let's talk to Bruce. I think some people are fake. I know this is reality TV, but I just don't trust anyone here. They all act so perfect or hang on to their personas. <laughs> so naked. That's not what I see. That's because they're trying to win you over. So, give me some examples. I think Soul's actually really insecure. He is. So why is he fake? He acts like he owns us. That's overcompensating. He's intimidated. I guess. And Vest Medusa think they're so tough. And? I caught them both crying. Twice. You can't be hard all the time. False. But I know what you mean. Brocifer, you're not seeing fakeness. You're seeing duality. We've all got public and private sides. Not me. What you see is what you get. So that stuff about Alessa, did everyone know that? No. See my point? Yes. But I'd like to see more. Rawr. Oh, wow. Never heard one that didn't come out of my mouth. Bad pickup lines, okay. You mean to tell me you've never been pursued? I never gave anyone the time. I'm fast, yo. Indeed you are. It's been fun talking. Same! Honestly, no. You've really helped me figure out my mindset with Alessa. After I just sort of put her out of my mind, I became more confident. And she's so much less horrible to me. Now she just treats me like everyone else. Total dirt instead of flaming garbage. Thanks. That means a lot to hear that you're feeling better about that. And it's really opened up my creativity. New stuff is flowing. Um, That's all I need to hear. I'm yeah. glad we talked, Brocifer. Me too. Okay, so let's talk to PSL. Uh, I'm not crazy about the sense of competition here. It's hard having a conversation with someone who wants you to fail. Wow. I haven't thought of that. You know me, everyone's pal, but there are times when I know that people aren't being sincere with me, but I'm being myself with them. It's hard. Have you expressed that? Sure have. Only Vess was honest with me, and that's partially because she doesn't believe she has a real shot with you. Uh, she'd be wrong. Everyone else blew me off, but I know what they're thinking. I'm a speed bump on their road to you. I never thought about it like that. Everyone here seems to be having a good time. Except Alessa. You gotta remember, you're the goal here. Goals don't have to worry about their competition. This is, after all, a game. It is, it is. I don't want to make people's lives into a game. <laughs> but you and Grim have. Is there any way to somehow take the pressure off? What do you think I've been up to all this time? I take a little pleasure, but extending my invitations to the entire staff sure can be exhausting. Jeez. She's been around. You don't have to do that. Oh, but I want to. It helps everyone blow off a little steam, but in the end, it's you they want, not me. Are you sure of that? You'd be surprised how many people cry out for you when the time comes. <laughs> you know me, I don't pull punches. What you see is what you get, and what I say is what I mean. I'm not trying to be sneaky here. Just wondering if you've got more to say regarding anyone. I guess I have concerns. Oh. Um, well, Alessa's not here and Soul's not here. Oh, okay. Alessa's having a hard time coping with her issue, no matter how much relief I give her. Robert's pretty set in his ways, really misses his crew. Lyra and Van Helsing have the same problem. They've had a hard time letting go of their responsibilities. And Nefret may make you feel like she's adventuring because she's- Hey, Star Spagos! She's running from bigger things. Welcome to the stream. 
I haven't picked uh, my dates yet, but I have an idea. L, you have a heart of gold. I actually don't even have a heart. Just a jumble of seeds, really, but thank you. Pick up lines. Even the dumb ones. I don't care much for pickup lines. I know whether or not I want someone real quick. Like an instinct. More like a, are you sentient? Cool, I'm down, let's have fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, right. Jack, what about you? What's attractive to you? Ooh. Nice. Nice. I need to get food later after stream. <laughs> Should I be sexy, fun, or serious? Must be sexy. I like when someone's really physical when flirting. Chemistry that's undeniable. The good thing you got me! <laughs> wow. Indeed, my spicy little treat. It was lovely chatting with you, Elle. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, last one to have a drink with. What's the worst pickup line you've heard? What's a pickup line? Oh, come on. You mean nobody's ever hit on you? Nobody could possibly land a strike. Not what I meant. What is the most foolish way someone has tried to attract your romantic attentions? Oh, oh, some wool-headed villager once dropped a dandelion on my doorstep. Can you imagine? Um, no. What's the problem with that? Dandelions, they're so common. Mere weeds, jeez. They're hardy, strong, edible. Perhaps you judged too quickly. I hadn't thought of that, and they do make the hills vi a vibrant yellow in spring. Very lovely. You've given much, me much perspective dra today, Drac. It's mutual. It was nice talking to you. Um... Haven't I made it plain that I despise all creatures of the night? I know! <laughs> Didn't think about it that way, and finally, uh now likes dandelions. You have. But do you find anyone with some redeeming qualities? Um... Lyra, Fenton... Well, let's go with Lyra. I hadn't thought of that. Well, Lyra is quite loyal to her wretched people. Wretched people. Have I have never seen Elle in bad humor. I suppose some of them are palatable. Think harder. Go on. Nefert's got quite a talent for those bandages. I had seen an acrobat show as a child, and it made quite the impression upon me. While I haven't had the audacity to try one of Vess's drinks, I do admit they look appealing. Interesting use of garnishes. I had found uh, myself tapping my foot to one of Bros' first tunes, although the lyrics did make me want to block my precious ears. See? That wasn't so hard. I suppose you're right. Bugging? Bugging? How do you think it is for me doing all this? Chill. I will not chill. None of this is chill. I'm at a razor's edge of sanity from trying to stay alert all this time. I don't know how many times I have to explain your safety. There is no safety. This is false. I'm surrounded by murderers and savages at all hours. Some of them do not sleep. I'm assaulted on all sides of my mind. I am a wreck. I'm sorry this is making you so anxious. I didn't realize. I am sorry as well. I simply cannot let my guard down. It is ingrained in me. It's like an involuntary twitch. I've tried to relax a bit, but it was harder than I could have imagined. What about right now? I wound up like a spool of twine. Oh no. I mean, there are ways to get rid of that. Can you let go just a little? Look, I can see you holding your breath. Just relax. That, that feels a bit better. Drop your shoulders. Unhinge your jaw. Stop clenching your fists. This feels odd. It should. That's good. Look at you. You're unguarded. Do you, 
dare draw attention to my weakness? It is not a weakness. It is a strength. It's very brave of you. Really? Very. I admit this is the best I've felt in weeks. Thank you. I'm glad. It was nice talking to you. And we are going to leave the room. They're just a ball of tension. Jeez. Now we're gonna give away the rest of these presents. presents left. Let's get rid of them. Uh, and maybe buy any that might still be left. Oh, it sure. is the season. Oh, I don't have enough money, I don't think. Wait, I do. Uh, temptation Cologne, self-portrait. Well, I know who wants the self-portrait. Um... TNT, I, I know who wants TNT the most, but uh. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Tis the season! Alright. Let's give gifts. Alright. I wonder if they would like TNT. gotta be down here. There it is. Let's give them TNT. Very well, I shipped your token of affection. This is affection, correct? My, I'm out of practice. Okay. Uh, oh, you want some bandage. You know what? It's sure. dazzling. Even the ribbon matches my bandages. Oh, thank you. You, you probably want cologne because yes. Golden Phoenix Skateboard Temptation? My fave! How'd you know I'd just run out? They say it's never enough until the entire room can smell it. Thanks, Drek. Oh god. I know! Why did I give him that? Let's rock this boat, baby! Um. Trying to figure out what she might like. one for material things, but the thought is nice. Thanks. They'd probably like a tomahawk, you think? like a, a, a tomahawk, so let's give them a tomahawk. A little need for trinkets, but thank you. Um... Uh, 
I don't think there's anything he wants. Actually, I'll give her... How'd you know? This really whips my cream. Thank you. Of course she needs a lockpick set. Treasure chest here somewhere. Finer than any treasure I've come across. Because I came from you. Woo. Um. Thank you. Did I boost it? No, not quite. That's okay. Yeah, they can have a hot air balloon. Holy drack, really? I am shook. <laughs> wow, they really liked that one. And I am trying to boost my um, stats. Would they like designer sunglasses? I don't know. <laughs> um, good heavens, this is not, uh, I did not expect. This I did not expect. No, I gave you a blood cooler. <laughs> I don't know why, he just looks like the designer sunglasses sort. Love it! Up. I mean, sure. It's spectacular. Let's give her garden Thank tools. You. Oh, went up. All right. Offer for the position of first mate. Hmm. I'll think about it. But I have some other positions in mind. Oh my. Alright, so. gonna go by whatever level it says on there. Oh, they liked it. <laughs> sure. I just like giving things away. Yay! I gotta level up. Seems like the makeup type. Do you want me to meet your parents or something? This is way too formal for me. Okay, <laughs> sure. She can have earrings. Another trinket for my collection. Thank you. I'm blushing all over. Try to give away all this stuff. I'm not one for material things, but the thought is nice. Thanks. I think I'm about maxed out, so let's. Okay, that went nowhere. I think I'm running out of stuff to give. That's the problem. 
<laughs> well, you can't wait to break that in. Interesting. Okay. I think about... Okay, I'm done. I'm done giving away things. Alright, let's go pick our final dates. First things what first. What do you need? I got ten? Shit. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna pick our final dates. Of money. All right, let's go. What's sweeter, you two or this place? Oh, I, I don't have the budget to get you all out there. Pretend dates. I get it. I don't. I'm not interested. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. Let's take a date. We'll start with... this. I have a new... experience for you. Yeah? Because I've been thinking, there's something I'd like to try. The sky is our canvas tonight. That certainly gave me some new perspectives. And maybe just a fraction of hope. Oh, that's just cute. Hope is a feeling for the future, not now. What are you feeling right now? I almost couldn't put my finger on it, but I do know this feeling. It's happy that feeling has persisted in my heart since the moment i saw your face when i presented your broken bottle i wanted that again to see you excited to watch you light up bess you make me very happy i care not for what the future holds because right now in this instance you are all that matters I invite the best on a special day. Okay, Van Helsing! Because yes. I'm surprised you accepted. I could use another stretch, and I suppose curiosity got the best of me once again. Was it curiosity? Or was it more? That remains to be seen. What do you have in store for me? A delight of the senses. That doesn't sound suited to me at all. I thought perhaps you'd take me up on that spar. Tonight? I don't want to know who you were. 
I want to know who you are. I do not follow. You've defined yourself by your family, your lineage, your blood. Tonight, I want you to choose, discern, enjoy what you like, not Van Helsing, you. And how will we do that? Find what you like. I typically eat whatever is put in front of me. This will be hard. Hard things are worth it. Go. Sample. Will you join me? Can you eat? I will take my pleasure in watching you enjoy what I've set out for you. Now go. Very well. I shall fill my plate. Well, that looks delightful. Describe each bite to me. Since I cannot eat, I want to experience this through you. Ah, oh, this seems to be duck with some sort of clear glaze. Oh my, it's sweet. The skin is crispy. This is delightful. I used, uh, I'm used to pheasant, mutton, gamey, and stringy. Food has been but fuel for me my whole life. I've never, well, indulged. Please, go on. A potato, but whipped. The texture is light as a feather. Butter, cream, and a slight hint of mushroom I can't place. I've heard of such things. Truffles. Apparently, they are very luxurious. And paired with a bite of duck. Goodness. This truly is a treat. I feel guilty that you cannot partake. Trust me. I am thoroughly enjoying myself. It is nice to see you disarmed. It is nice to put my guard down for once. I finally feel safe around you. Oh! And I, you. Please, try more. Tell me everything. Are you trying to stuff me, silly? <laughs> to solve to Van Helsing. <laughs> One of these is gonna be um, inappropriate. Uh, well, no, totally appropriate. This is an 18 plus stream. We're gonna say it to Van Helsing. I want you to find preference. Go on, sample more. Find things you like, remember? Well, this green vegetable is too bitter for my taste. All of the cheese sauce is nice. Good. You're learning more. Uh, quite fancy this bread. Oh, and dunking it in this sauce. If my brother saw me, they, they'd forget them. Do you like it? I love it. I have had a special dessert prepared for you. Grim says it's the only human food he'd ever want to trade his immortality for. It's called chocolate. I've heard of such a thing. May I feed you a bite? Y yes Enjoy. I never in my life have had something so delectable. Describe it to me. This is like... <laughs> very racy just for describing food. Sweet. So sweet it nearly hurts my cheeks. Bitter, but in a delightful way, like hot coffee on a cold morning. Creamy. Hits your mouth solidly, but melts on the heat of your tongue. I have never wanted to taste something more in my entire life. Is it safe to kiss me? Safe for you or for me? Oh. Either. Damn the danger. I want this. Me. Oh my! Yes. Then just a taste. For now. This is it! You have selected your date. I'll meet you for the final ceremony out front. Oh my! Let's go out front.
Saved. Meatball garden. <laughs> Alright, actually, I should have saved over here. Let's save here first. Here we go. Well, the question is who should I choose? Here we are, the finale of Love at First Bite, where Drac, our beloved star, will determine who comes out on top. All puns intended. <laughs> Here's the question, who should I choose? Who should I choose? I want to know who I should choose. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Because I can choose adorably romantic. I could choose adorably romantic, or I could choose uh, enemies to friends to lovers trope. This is. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe Van Helsing is just bent over to show cleavage even more. <laughs> I know! I like both. I I am I am I am debate, 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 debate. Hmm, I wonder if anyone's actually I have. I'm curious if anyone's doing more than lurking. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she occasionally bends over, like, hey, you could have this. Can I just have both? Yep, there's the bat again. <laughs> Is that oh, I got one vote. Hey, I think everyone else is lurking. Cause I got, I got more than, I, I got other people in the chat, uh, chat but. I think I'm probably going to trope it anyway, just because... Vess, uh, Vess would probably be happiest being free entirely. I'm still waiting for the poll to finish. <laughs> I 
Okay. I mean, honestly, that's my choice. <laughs> all right. Drac, it has been a long journey, but through all your trials and tribulations, you've arrived at this final culminating moment. It's time to decide who is your love at first bite. Go ahead, make your choice. Van Helsing. Long has the specter of failure loomed over me. And for centuries, the ones haunting my nights were none other than your bloodline. I fantasized about a world where I could be free of the burden of your lineage. <laughs> and now I cannot fathom a world without you in it. The specter that hung over me was that of loneliness and fear. But it is gone now. Redemption now replaces that fear. With you, I can remake my future. And it is bright as I imagine daylight being. You bring that sun into my life. Thank you for being mine. The end of my, oh, my enemy is my friend. So what does this make me, Drac? You helped make me. Myself, my soul, my heritage of my blood. You taught me to discern, to choose my destiny, to imagine possibilities that have been withheld from me. We are not our names. We are not who others tell us to be. Yes, I will always carry the bloodline and its legend within me, but I can use my strength for other purposes now, ones I've never dreamed of. And I will dream them with you, Drac. And that's a wrap! Boy, wasn't it exciting to be on this journey with these two lovebirds? Now, before your dramatic embrace, let's take a look back at the souls we've lost along the way. Hold up. What do you mean, so Here we go again. Where did everyone go? Grim? What do you think eliminate meant? You fiend. This was all for you. For your entertainment and to claim more souls. For my entertainment? Drac, have you seen the ratings? It's the biggest show of all time. And yeah, some sacrificial blood had to be spilled. How do you think the DLC funds this project? They were sacrifices. They were my friends. They were your table scraps, you ingrate. Look, you have your love. You have your glory or whatever. And now I've got a blossoming career. Now let's finish recording this ending and just... The only thing I'll be ending is you. Oh, I like that rage. Show the camera some love. Know what? I'm taking this project in a new direction. Redemption story to revenge saga. Find a way to get to the underworld, Drac, because now I'm taking your lover too. Now you've really got something to fight for. See you soon. Oh. Let's go fight the flying spaghetti monster. What have I done? This isn't my fault. I couldn't have known. So selfish, so full of himself. Had to make a big show. Craft services. This is Grimm's fault. Grimm, that bastard, always manipulating. Always sweetening everyone up. I'll sweeten the deal for you. Wait. Sweets. Savory. Dolce. To the meatball garden. <laughs> I know you're such a little shit. There we go. Nobody used to sit there, so... Yeah! Yeah! 
Go. I forgot I still need this. Meet Ball Garden. Here we go. the most savory treat ever, the Big Kahuna. Oh, hell.
<laughs> yeah, the music. You can buy the soundtrack for this game on on Steam. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to get this. Dolce, I need you. <laughs> Who are you again? Drac! We had the best night of our lives together. Uh, whatever you say, I'm forgetful sometimes. Sugar rots the brain! Rots the brain. Dolce, that's why I'm here. I need to feed you something. Is it sugary? No, actually, it's savory. I'll go straight to hell. Dolce, that's actually what I need. Grim killed all my friends. I need to find him there. Ah, uh, are you sure about this? I hear it's not such a nice place for a sort of thing like me. Dolce, I know it's asking a lot, but please, help me save my friends. You told me if I ever need anything, you'll help. Well, if I said it, I said it. Come to think of it, it was Grim that put those signs all over the place. I guess it was because he knew I'd be able to enter his realm. All right, hit me with your savory goodness. <laughs> This is funky. It's ooh, <laughs> salt. What the? Broom, here we go. Deliver you. F oh. That's great. Oh my god, that was beautiful. <laughs> I have delivered you. Fuck all. Oh, 
Why can't you just be happy? We gave you everything you wanted. What I wanted? You and the DLC did what you wanted for me. You didn't ask. It had to be a grand gesture, silly, or it wouldn't work. And now look at you, snarling, dripping in blood. There's our Drac, ready to make things right with the world. Make things right? Business, baby. You stopped killing for a hundred years. And like we said, there's only so long we could make up for your inadequacies. But you're good now. All pissed off and ready to slaughter. Bye now. I'm not going anywhere until I have my friends and love back. Didn't you say it's best to move on? Not without them. Oh, he's immune. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Entertainment. That's showbiz, baby. But come on, keep going. Look at those ratings through the roof. Rant away. Slash at me all you want. If I do nothing, the show stops. Now don't talk like that. The show stops and you don't get your friends back. Now have at me. I am going to check it out and see what happens. I'm just going to die. I was curious if I did this last time, what would happen? Incoming! Incoming! There we go. Much more damage. Oh. 
I'm wondering if I do nothing, will this work? There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Just two more. There we go. If if it if I just die, I'm gonna be so mad about this. Because the game specifically hinted. Oh, honey, I thought you were off book. Oh, so dumb. I'm mad. I'm upset about this. Yeah, I was hoping, but no. Like the game literally said, hey, if I do nothing, the show ends. So I'm not about to try and not do this five million. You know, continue to. Uh... Shooting donuts at me, go away. Ratings up. Kittens angry. Boo hoo. You used me. That's showbiz, baby. If I do nothing. Now don't talk like that. The show stop. Screw you, Dr <laughs> Grim. I mean, not quite willingly, but yeah, it was a trade of sorts. They died so you could really live on live TV forever and ever. Hard no on that. You're done when I say you're done. I made you. I own you. No. You think you have a say in this? You want control over your own fate? Fine. Go back to your castle. Sunk in the ruins of your own legacy. We are done. Oh no, we're going back. I'll have to take the dramatic way out. Grim's mistake 
is he thinks he's sending the old me back to my prior fate. To wallow in this new misery. He thinks I have nothing left to lose. He's wrong. I still have one thing left to lose. And for the first time in 100 years, I have something to gain. Grim's going to learn that I will not stop until I win them back. I'll crash his underworld gate with the only thing I have left. My life. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nah, you don't own shit, Grim. You know I can't make you feel like you used to. The glory and all that. I can bring people back from the dead, but I can't change the past. I know. I got a little carried away. I wanted the old you back too, but for the wrong reasons. And I wanted the easy way out. Growth doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. So, what now? I'll bring everyone back. No strings attached. I'm done creating. I'll get back to destruction once I'm done. It was fun though, for a while. You weren't very good at it. Agree to disagree. Friends? Maybe one day. Fair enough. Okay. It's funny how things end up sometimes. This whole show was about teaching Drac to let go, but the irony is, I think it taught him to hold on. Hold on to the ones who make you laugh, the ones who make you think, the ones who make your undead heart go thump. And when you find those people, don't ever let go. Ah. <laughs> what did I get? Complete the game as male and female drag. Oh, nice! Okay, so I could do this and make it go faster. <laughs> yep, I can make it go faster. Yay! Can I actually skip? No. Wow, like a lot of the same voices over and over and over. That is early. Bruh, you must lift. I benched plenty of stone in my day. I'll say that. You are f***ing legendary! You have no idea! Hey, let's get some drinks and lift things. Oh, wow. I'd like to lift you on some my... Dick move. We're all here for Drac, pal. Doesn't mean we can't have a little fun! <laughs> we... Oh, good. Good song. It is good to talk to another leader. Nobody else understands. Of course, they do not understand. It is not like caring for a dog or several small humans. Running a nation takes more out of you. Which is why I can't understand why you're so flighty. Don't you... Don't you miss it? Miss it? Why would I miss it? Miss being controlled. 
miss being used as a pawn in constant fear of my life? And being right about that fear? No. No, I do not miss it. I am more free right now than I have ever been. And I would not trade that for the world. I cannot imagine what your life must feel like right now. So untethered. That's the word, all right. But it is wonderful. So free. Freedom doesn't sound so great. I like feeling grounded. Let us find a topic on which we both agree, then? Drax legs. <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> I mean, they are nice legs. Bah! You didn't miss much. No, no, please. You must tell me more. Seriously. The ruins weren't even that nice before they were ruined. Big blocks of stone. Who cares? But do tell me of the philosophers. The gods. Was Zeus truly such a ledge? What was Athena like? Please. Bunch of self-important a-holes. You're not missing anything. I'm afraid you are disappointing me, ma'am. Okay, fine. You want to hear about the fall? More than anything. <laughs> the leaves changed colors. <laughs> I'm afraid I must be going. I'll see you around. <laughs> and then I finished him off with a swipe of me cutlass to his throat. Bravo! Bravo! One more, please! Wolf man, you got me worn out. Don't you have books for this sort of thing? Nothing like non-fiction, coming straight from the source. I'm glad you like my stories. Would you be open to... Well, what I'm meaning to... Oh, it already went through. I guess I just pushed it through, but it's okay, I've seen all those. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's still early. I did not think it get done this soon. Kinda makes me want to play something else, and I don't know what I'd play. I wouldn't have the foggiest idea what I could possibly play. I know what's taking its place next week, but that's a uh, um gonna be a bit longer game. Speaking of, I can show it off, though. Here we go. Here it is. Yeah. A long time ago. True. When all there was to think was nothing but crops of tea. Along came a Okay. <laughs> I am playing uh, the Bard's Tale. What? That? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago, way back in his. That is the Bard's Tale. All there was to think was nothing but crops of tea. It, it, it's a PS2 game that they remastered. And he invented a wonderful grip and he made it out of boss. Hey! He must have been an Andal, a sultan, now a king. One to his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till he beer, beer, beer. The drunken rat that ache and roam and told his boobers will. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all your lads and lasses at eleven o'clock, you stop. 
for five short seconds. Remember Charlie Moss. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, he must have been a damn assaulted or I remember playing this game, like, forever ago, and, um, there's a narrator that discusses what you do, and he's nothing- he's full of sarcasm and snark the entire time, and so is your character. And I'm looking forward to playing this again. I'm hoping my nostalgia holds up to the game itself. And there's nothing really offensive in the game that I wouldn't tolerate nowadays. Three. But anyway... <laughs> yeah, I will be playing that next week. Also, you find a dog and it attacks for you. Yeah. Yeah, the game is very, uh... I loved playing it forever ago, and I don't remember anything horrible, so... Yeah. You find the dog, and the dog helps you in battle, and you play a bard. That is that is who you, you are. You play a bard, which is why it's the bard's tale. And you get spells, and you can attack, and... It's a very interesting... <laughs> Again, I love it. It's, like, very irreverent, and I love the game so much. But yeah, I could get something to eat, I guess. Uh, come on, uh, log off early. Um, let me see. If I can find somebody... Who's playing something. Unless somebody actually knows of somebody I can raid, I guess I'll look for somebody to raid. Thanks, Dream Elements, for pandering. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, I found somebody, uh, mainly because I like the emotes. <laughs> I don't know who this person is, I'm just gonna raid random person. Here we go! We're gonna rate this person. They're playing Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, I should go here. Yeah, that might be good. Now I'm up here. Okay, so we're gonna raid, uh... I will enjoy food. We're gonna raid out. I'll see you tomorrow for Mass Effect. Why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow for Mass Effect. Um... But all, all of y'all have fun. Stay safe. Um, see you. Hopefully, see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Good night.